Yeah, this is really a fun event for us, uh, Miss Terry and I, and a lot of people who do a lot of work, uh, a lot of people who support Nick's kids, obviously. Uh, but we feel great about the things that we've been able to do in the community. Uh, 17 houses, over $7 million in the 10 or 11 years we've been doing this, uh, to uh, over 100 kids' groups, uh, you know, building a school at the Juvenile Detention Center now in Tuscaloosa. I mean, it's a lot of things that we've been able to do for the community. A lot of people support it, uh, obviously in honor of my father and what he tried to do to help young people and uh, something that we really, really enjoy doing. And this is kind of our family legacy to try to do this. So um, we appreciate you all coming out and covering it, but uh, something that's really a fun day with a lot of great people. Can you give us an update on Keith Holcomb? I know the draft is over. I didn't know if you've talked to him since the draft. Well, I, I, I didn't uh, talk to him yet. I talked to him before. Um, you know, he, he wanted to continue to try to pursue his baseball career. Um, so I haven't talked to him since that. Uh, I think he could actually come back and play another year of baseball if he chooses to do that. So uh, I will talk to him again. But, um, you know, when we had the last conversation, uh, he was pretty much set on trying to play baseball. So it was the fuel pump? It was the fuel pump. Uh, it's a brand new boat, my first time in it. Um, but, you know, I, this is amazing that everybody I talk to, friends in Michigan, people in California, uh, everybody in the world uh, thinks I ran out of gas. So I thank you all for that. Um, and um, I even got the, the best one I got was I got a text from some players at the Naval Academy who had the largest battleship in the Navy and says, Coach, we got your back. We'll come pick you up anytime you need us. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Uh, talking about that, the social media aspect of it, I mean, they, they, obviously you guys had a, you know, some cameras there to kind of film that. Uh, what does that mean to you to provide some kind of insight into like your life away from the field, even doing some of the barbershop things and uh, to the little, the little videos? How much has that really uh, um, kind of been something that you kind of want to show? aspect of well I, I I just think that um, you know there's some myths about Alabama football that we sort of fight all the time in recruiting um, things like it's no fun it's all business um, and that's not true at all uh, I think Minka said it best when you know he said I didn't come to Alabama to have fun but I had more fun there than any time in my life so I think we just try to show the other side that, um, you know, our players do have a lot of fun. Uh, we have a lot of togetherness, a lot of camaraderie in what we do. Alabama's a special place. And I think when you go there, you find that out and you relate to it. And uh, people have a lot of pride in it. So, um, you know, we're just trying to show that side of the program a little bit more. Um, but we're still committed to the same things in terms of helping players be more successful in life or having been involved in the program. How comfortable are you at the depth of inside linebacker, assuming the team doesn't come back? Uh, I'm not comfortable at any position on our team relative to the depth that we have. I wish we had more depth. I wish we had more players. I wish more guys could contribute. Um, but regardless of that circumstance, you know, we will try to develop and create um, whatever we have to do to try to develop the depth at any position on our team. So if it involves moving players, if it involves, you know, trying to enhance the development of younger players, then that's what we'll do. Given the implications, you know, of the, the quarterback battle and, and your relationship with these, both the quarterbacks, how difficult will this decision be going down the you know, in Well, it won't be difficult at all because I, I think what we're trying to do is give the guys an opportunity um, and that's the fair thing for both of them. Um, and that's, that's really what, you know, our goal is. Uh, I think the, that both players right, need to know that um, they need to win the team. That's, that's what they need to do. And the best way for them to do that is stay focused on what they need to do. And anything that they do that brings attention to themselves probably erodes the opportunity for that to happen. So I'd appreciate your help in just allowing it to happen. It's not going to happen any faster. You're not going to make it happen faster. 
it's going to be a process that we go through, and that's the way it's going to be. Coach, what was it like for you? They were kind of fun during the summer. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I like playing golf. You know, we, I love the lake. I swim in the lake and take a bath in the lake every day, and everybody kills me over that. You know, people don't take bath in the lake. You know, I got to have ivory soap so it floats. You know, so um, <laughs> Miss Terry didn't. You know, but I like that. You're not worried about snakes or anything. Are you kidding, man? I grew up in West Virginia. <laughs> you worry about snakes, you can't do anything. What about the turtle? <laughs> I don't worry about them either. Last one here with Chris. Uh, spring meetings, what was it like having Jindal in the room? Was it a little unusual? No, you know, we've always had a great relationship with Jimbo. He's always been uh, a really good friend, and I have a lot of professional respect for him. And, um, you know, so it's... I mean, I, 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 I like it. You know, there are four guys in the room that are head coaches now that all were on our staff, and Jim McElwain would have been a fifth. But um, so it's good to see those guys have opportunities, and um, I'm happy for them. And uh, Jimbo's a great coach, and he'll do a great job there, and it's good to have those kind of people make our league better. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank Thanks. Appreciate Thank it, guys. You.